वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज ए सी ई वन जीरो वन द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज मैक्सिम पावर ट्रांसफर थ्योरम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द मैक्सिम पावर ट्रांसफर थ्योरम इट स्टेट्स दैट अ रेजिस्टिव लोड बींग कनेक्टेड टू अ डी सी नेटवर्क receives maximum power when the load resistance is equals to the internal resistance which is known as thevenin's equivalent resistance of the source network as shown as seen from the load terminals the maximum power transfer theorem is used to find load resistance for which there would be the maximum amount of power transfer from the source to the load the maximum power transfer theorem is applied for both dc and ac circuits the only difference is that in the ac circuit the resistance is substituted by the impedance the maximum power transfer theorem finds their application in communication systems which receives low strength signals it is also used in speakers for transferring the maximum power from an amplifier to the speaker explanation of maximum power transfer theorem a variable resistance rl is connected to a dc source network as shown in the circuit diagram in figure a here we are having a dc source network we are talking about the dc source network and this is the variable load resistance which is connecting across the terminal x and y and the current i is flowing in the circuit the figure b represents the thevenin's voltage vth and thevenin's resistance rth this is rth this dc source network is solved by using the thevenin's theorem so in the thevenin's theorems what we find the vth which is called the thevenin voltage and rth which is called the thevenin resistance the whole complicated circuit this whole complicated circuit is replaced into a one voltage source which is known as thevenin voltage source and the equivalent resistance which is known as thevenin's resistance so we replace this dc source network with the vth and rth and the load resistance variable load resistance connected as it is so the aim of so the aim of the maximum power transfer theorem is to determine the value of load resistance rl such that it receives maximum power from the dc source when we are applying the maximum power theorem the uh, motive of this circuit is that this load resistance this load resistance will receive maximum power from this circuit so when we are considering this figure we are finding the value of i so i is given by vth the voltage source thevenin voltage upon this rth rth thevenin resistance plus the load resistance so we are finding out this current i now after finding the value of i while we find out the power so power while the power delivered to the resistive load the power given to this resistive load is given by this equation pl means load power is equals to i square which we find here in equation 1 into rl so we find out the power from here we are putting the value of i which we find out here 
into this equation the equation will become this pl is equals to vth upon rth plus rl the whole square into rl so pl can be maximized this value can be maximized by varying the value of rl that is why we are taking the this resistance variable we are taking the variable load resistance hence maximum power can be delivered the condition for the maximum power is that when we want to achieve the maximum power from the circuit this should be derivative of uh, uh, load power upon load resistance should be equals to zero so uh, we are putting the value of pl from this equation and we solve it mathematically when we solve it mathematically we are finding out the derivative and uh, by applying the equation when we solve this equation we will get this value that is uh, v vth square into rth minus rl upon rth plus rl the whole square so uh, this value is equals to 0 this is the condition of maximum power so when we solve this we will get this rth minus rl is equals to 0 or we can say rth is equals to rl so the circuit will receive the maximum power when the load resistance value is equals to the Thevenin value Hence, it is proved that the maximum uh, proof that power transfer from DC source network to the resistive network is maximum when the internal resistance, this internal resistance is Rth of the DC source network is equals to the load resistance. So, what we find out that the circuit will transfer maximum power when we uh, achieve this condition Rth is equals to Rl. How we receive this uh, condition? By varying the load resistance where we get these values equals that is the condition of maximum power. So, again with Rth is equals to Rl, the system is perfectly matched to the load and the source thus the power transfer becomes maximum and this amount of power p max can be obtained by this equation maximum power is obtained by this equation and when we solve this equation we will get vth square upon 4 rth so this equation gives the power which is consumed by the load the load RL consumes this much power. The power transferred by the source will also be the same as the power consumed by the load that is by this equation as the load power and the source power being the same. So the power given by the circuit and the power achieved by the RL both are same that is Vth square upon 4 Rth. So now we are discussing the steps for solving the network using maximum power transfer theorem. The first step is remove the load resistance of the circuit. Find the Thevenin resistance Rth of the source network looking through the open circuit. We are applying the Thevenin's theorem in first, uh, second and third step. Then as per the maximum power transfer theorem, Rth is the load resistance of the network that is Rl is equals to Rth we achieve this condition that allows maximum power to be transferred maximum power transfer is calculated by the equation P max is equals to Vth square upon 4 Rth so these are the four steps First, we remove the load resistance. Then, we solve the circuit by Thevenin's theorem. Then, as per the condition of the maximum power theorem that uh, RL should equals to Rth, we will get this condition. And uh, uh, how we find out how much power is transferred? That is by this equation. Pm is equals to Vth square by 4 Rth. So, this is all about maximum power transfer theorem so hope you like this video thank you so much